Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick look at how you can now play PC games on your Chromebook. Now this is really exciting news for me. It's not new news, it's been about a year or so now, maybe a bit less than that, maybe six, nine months. Uh, I was always under the impression that I would never be able to play PC games on my Chromebook, my Chromebox. I just did not think it would ever happen. And the reason for that is that you don't get a dedicated graphics card in Chromebooks and that's essential to play really good games. However, as the Chromebook, when the original, when the Chromebook originally was launched, it was launched as a cloud computer and a lot of software has moved over to the cloud such as Microsoft Office now, we've the 365 I think it's called, I'm not sure 100% what it's called, I don't really use it, only at work. Um, and then you've got other software such as Adobe, which is also used now online and so much more cloud computing is happening when it comes to software. And this is exactly what's happened with games. So now you've got Stardia, which you can use on your Chromebook and you've also got Nvidia GeForce Now. Nvidia GeForce Now, it's a year old now. Um, it, I don't think that Chromebook support straight away, but I'm so glad that GeForce now come out because it's absolutely fantastic because it essentially means you can play PC games on your Chromebook and you don't need an integrated graphics card because the graphics card is based on the server at NVIDIA so you can still play great games on your Chromebook. You can even play games on a budget Chromebook. I've played games on a Toshiba Chromebook 2 which is quite an old Chromebook with an Intel Celeron processor. I think it's got 16 gigabytes storage, I think. It doesn't really matter because it's not used. Um, and I think it's got four gigabyte of RAM, but it still works. The only thing you do need is a good internet connection. Generally speaking, I would hook up using an Ethernet port, so I'd use a Chromebox over a Chromebook. I am using a Chromebox today, but I've not got it connected to Ethernet. It is going to, well, it's a bit complicated, but we won't get into that. It's part Ethernet and then it's part Wi-Fi. So it's not true Ethernet because I've not got my router in this room. However, I've done a quick speed test and the internet is looking all okay. So everything should be fine. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the sort of games you can now play on your Chromebook, PC games as well. That's the great thing about Nvidia GeForce Now. You can play PC games on your Chromebook and they work, they just work which is great, even better than on my PC. And I've got a really good PC, really good graphics card, but they just work better. It's really bizarre. So if you, you obviously need to sign up, play GeForce, play.geforce.now is what you go to once you've signed up. To sign up for it, just type in Nvidia GeForce Now into Google. There is a free option to use. You can use a free option and that free option is fine, but the free option only gives you an hour of play, which might be okay for the casual user, but for anyone who's really into it, you really want to, I, I play games for hours and hours and hours, uh, so that wouldn't work for me. I signed up as a founder, as you can see here, so I pay £4.99 a month, and I think it's the same in America, £4.99. £4 um, I don't think you can do it monthly now. I think you have to sign up monthly, Let's just have a quick look. NVIDIA GeForce Now. So this video is not going to be edited. It's not going to be cut. It's just a raw video. So I'm sorry if you expect something polished. It's not, This that's not what this video is about. Right, so join today. And right, yeah, so it's gone. So there's founders now, it's £24.95 for six months. So you can't do a monthly subscription anymore. But that's still good. That works out the same as what I pay, maybe even less, is that? Well, I'm a bit, caught, a bit tired to calculate. Yeah, that's less, isn't it? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, so that's actually less than what I pay a month. So that's fine. Um, and then You've got the free account there, but then you've got an hour session length. With this, you've got an extended session length. Believe it or not, it does still run out. I played a game, I think I was playing Prison Architect, um, and I, I, I think it might be that you get six hours. What happens after the six hours is you can, it will close it down, but then you can restart it again straight away. So I think it's just to try and make sure the servers are not being 
overused, but you get in six hours, so that's more than enough for most occasions. So yes, it's £24.95 in America. Um, I guess it's going to be roughly the same. Let's just have a quick look. United States. Trying today. Right, it's took me straight back to there. I did definitely have a check, and I'm, I'm sure it's the same in America anyway, so I think it's about $25. So once you've done this, you sign up to that, and then you go and go on to play GeForce Now. And the good thing is, you've got your games that you play bought from elsewhere. Like, for example, Prison Architect is from Steam, so I played that on Steam years ago, and I can now play it on NVIDIA GeForce Now. You can also sync your um, Steam library which i've done previously and it will sync the games what are available it's all in settings you'll have to have a play about but once you've done that you've got your games you've got prison architect that's from steam i know 1800 absolutely love that game um, i bought that from ubisoft directly but you play which is ubisoft you can use on nvidia geforce now as well armor 3 um, yeah that's a good game i've not tried to play any on the Chromebook, not sure what it's like. Don't know what that is. I think it's a free game. City Skylines, great game. Not played on the Chromebook yet. And then you've got a few more. So don't get me wrong. I've got a lot more games than this on Steam. So not all games are going to work on NVIDIA GeForce now. But more modern games will work. And I think in the future, we'll get even more games available on NVIDIA GeForce now. And bear in mind, this video is just about NVIDIA GeForce now. When it comes to gaming on the Chromebook overall, you've got Android apps and you've also got um, Stadia or Stadia, whichever way you want to call it. And that's more like console style games. But the reason why I like NVIDIA GeForce now, although I like consoles, I've got a PlayStation 4 and I'll, if I'm in the mood, I like playing, playing it, GTA and stuff like that. However, most games I like are a bit more PC style games. So I was really happy with NVIDIA GeForce now come along. So the idea that you can't play games on a Chromebook now is completely gone. Personally speaking, I think it's best to play on a Chrome box, and the reason for that is that you've got a much larger display. You have got that Ethernet port, so if, if the Wi-Fi is bad, and mine's very intermittent, it depends on what time of the day it is. It does lots of people, now we're all at home because of the pandemic, coronavirus. People are all working from home, they're all doing over VPN, and that just takes up all of the internet. So in some parts of the day, it's really bad, so I'd have to have it connected to Ethernet. Um, so that's why I think the Chrome box is good for that and you've just got a bigger display. One thing about GeForce now, if you are going to play it on a Chromebook, it works fine on a Chromebook. I played it on um, Asus um, C302 and I played it on the Toshiba Chromebook 2. Both of them worked absolutely fine. Again, it's all about internet connection, nothing to do with the performance of your Chromebook because it's all to do, all of the processing is done at the G uh, NVIDIA servers. The thing, the thing I would say to that is though, I would give it a try on your Chromebook first because even on NVIDIA, they've got a list of Chromebooks that they say is compatible, but don't really listen to that list. My Toshiba Chromebook 2 wasn't on there, but it works absolutely fine. So just do, before signing up to NVIDIA GeForce now, try the trial version and see if it works. If it does, great, you've got it. But if you're going out to buy a Chrome OS device to play games, it's obviously up to you. But I think, personally speaking, the Chromebook is better. Also, the trackpad on your Chromebook playing games on NVIDIA GeForce Now, it's a no-no, absolute no-no. It just doesn't work. Well, it works, but it's absolutely awful. And NVIDIA have agreed that that's the case as well. So I don't know why that is, but you'd have to use an external mouse. Okay, so that's really, this video is just to let you know that you can now play PC games on your Chromebook. I'm going to be making lots more videos going forward on games for the Chromebook, not just for NVIDIA GeForce now. I'll have to look into Stadia. If I'm being completely honest with you, I've not even used Stadia yet. Um, and I will also do Android games as well, because there's plenty of Android games out there. So I hope this is what people want to see, that you can play games on a Chromebook and me showing you how to play games on your Chromebook. So it's not just about saying that you can now play games on a Chromebook, it's about showing you the type of games you can play on a Chromebook 
and how you play them games. Not complete how to, because there's other channels out there for that, but just to show you how the games do actually work well on a Chromebook. If that's the case, then please like the video below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. I'll be making one tonight about playing Prison Architect, so I'll be putting that up a bit later. Okay, thanks for watching.